your weather rate certified most accurate forecast fox 54 weather so as we've learned governor ivy declared today college colors day <laughs> yes and i'm sporting blue and a red lip because those are the colors some of the colors of my alma mater howard university okay i got a uh, miss maroon on over here because <laughs> we all know i um, graduated from mississippi state back in 2019 and uh, I, I will say though, I am an Alabama fan too. Okay. That's all my family has been. I'm, I was born and raised that way, okay. but uh, my, my heart does bleed maroon for Girl, the Girl, my heart bleeds blue all the way through, through and through. <laughs> and I will say, I don't know about you, but my college experience has been some of the best of my yes. life. I, I think about it a lot and I'll see like my Facebook memories pop up or my yeah. Snapchat memories and I'm thinking, Wow, I had such a great time. I wish I could be back. I know, <laughs> I know. All right. Well, it is going to be uh, pretty rainy, it looks like, for some uh, college football out there. Let's go ahead and jump out to our graphics. If you are deciding to head on down to Tuscaloosa or maybe you're headed to Auburn, and we could be dodging some showers and storms at the time, uh, but it does look like things going to be in the lower 80s, so at least it's not going to be piping hot out there for a kickoff. Uh, but might want to pack the poncho just in case there is a moving shower passing over either Tuscaloosa or Auburn. Now, zooming things in closer to home, we are tracking this one lone cell that we've got right now on our Fox 54 radar. Zooming things in, though, it's right on the uh, lauderdale Colbert County line, but it does look like it's over Killen, headed towards Lexington, Whitehead, Rogersville. Might be catching some rain from this here within the next few minutes or so, but other than uh, that, we are quiet all across the Tennessee Valley. Temperatures hanging out in the mid and upper 70s. We're sitting at 79 right now in Huntsville, 76 in Athens, 73 in Pulaski, 78 in Russellville, Scottsboro currently sitting at 79 degrees. So heading into the overnight, it does look like temperatures going to be staying in the lower 70s. We'll see mostly clouds, uh, mild and muggy out there for the overnight, uh, but I can't roll out an isolated shower or two uh, that moves through throughout the overnight. But like I said, most of us are going to be staying dry, but that's all going to be changing heading into the afternoon tomorrow. We are expected to see scattered showers and storms uh, for your Saturday, mid 80s, and it looks like temperature is going to be declining heading into your Sunday and your Monday. Thanks to all the rain and the cloud cover we're expected to see. So some bright side from all this rain is that temperatures are going to be on the cooler side. So let's go ahead and time out tomorrow for you. Here's midnight. Notice we're just going to continue to sit under a mostly cloudy sky. That'll be the case heading into your early morning hours of Sunday. And it does look like rain will really start to pop up heading into the afternoon. So notice this is right at noon. We'll start to see some scattered showers and storms develop, but things really start to kick off right around 3 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. We could see some heavy rainfall from this, and depending on how fast these things decide to move tomorrow, we could be dealing with some localized flooding. So we're just going to have to uh, continue to monitor things, but no severe weather is expected throughout the day tomorrow, but it does look like rain looks to continue through the early morning hours for your Sunday. So rain chances for the next seven days. I've got a 70% for tomorrow, 80% for Sunday. Things start to drop off just a tad bit, but it does look like we'll stay right around a 50% for your Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Hey, even heading into uh, next Friday, but it'll just be, you know, what we typically see here in the afternoon. So Hurricane Danielle has formed first hurricane of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season, not expected to make a threat to uh, the United States or really anywhere at that point. Seven day forecast looks like this mid 80s for tomorrow. We'll stay in the 80s pretty much throughout the next seven days. Labor Day, scattered showers and storms 83 for the high temperature. Looking ahead, though, scattered showers and storms going to stay in the forecast, and it looks like the 80s stay in the forecast as well.